Tornado Watch is issued when atmospheric conditions are favorable, all right, for the development of tornadoes in this entire area. So that means the large-scale atmosphere is, you know, prime for this. Uh, it looks like it's a possibility, okay, but then we get down to much smaller scale things in which tornadoes do or don't develop within this entire region. Everybody knows you put a watch box out for maybe in some cases an entire state, maybe half the state, and, you know, one or two towns, one or two people, <laughs> maybe a farm or two, a cow or two, you know, they see it, no one else does, okay? That's just to show you that the upper, the upper levels of the atmosphere over the entire region are favorable, but then we got to look down at the lower levels and the mesoscale features, very small features, and that's what actually gives us the tornado development. So a watch is really no reason to, you know, get scared or be alarmed. It's just to give you time to know and to remind yourself where you need to go if a warning is issued. So you just, you know, if you're at home, you want to think about going to the basement. If you're in your you know, place of work, you just want to get away from windows and get out in the hallway. A tornado warning is a situation where <clears throat> it's seen on radar that there's rotation, right, within a thunderstorm. Right? That rotation is seen then, usually in the vertical velocity, but what does that mean? Well, that means that you're actually looking at the movement of the air. You're looking at the movement of the air parcels. And what Doppler radar can do is it can see air coming this way, it can see air going that way. In other words, that's air coming towards, air going away from the radar beam. And what that indicates, though, is it's a very small area then of air going away, air coming towards, that shows rotation of air. Okay, over a very small region, that means rotation it's within a thunderstorm, that means rotation aloft within the thunderstorm. As soon as that is seen, our tornado warning is issued. Initially, it's called a Doppler radar indicated tornado warning. Okay? That means the rotation is seen aloft. There's no confirmation, though, that it's been seen down at the surface yet. That is where a storm spotter will confirm it if it's there, confirm maybe some debris, all right, being picked up, and then we'll call in, say, yeah, definite tornado confirmed to be on the ground. Then they'll kind of switch the warning online and switch the warning even through your local news and so forth to say, hey, there is a tornado on the ground, it's right here, it's tracking this way to the northeast or whatever, you know, miles per hour, these are the counties, city, you know, roads, whatever it may be, going to be affected. And, you know, when you hear that especially, then you should take cover. You really want to go to your basement or the lowest level even for severe weather. And um, you want to stay there until that storm has passed because, you know, Large-scale thunderstorm winds of 60 to 70 miles an hour, that can knock out windows as much as a tornado can. Uh, you know, having large hail, that also can knock out windows and so forth as, just as much as a, a tornadic storm can. So you, you want to take the same precautions. Okay, so the same thing we talked about as far as the tornado warning you want to do for a severe thunderstorm warning. Um, how about after the storm, though? We just said that severe thunderstorms do produce very heavy rain, possibly a lot of rain. And that's one thing to be mindful of. Never drive into water okay, that is flowing over the road. Never. I don't care if, there, if, it's not, if it's not even a bridge area. If it's just flowing over the road, you can get in there and you can still push your car and you can still push it off and you can still be hurt or possibly killed. All right, so you want to turn around, report that to, uh, in case no one has reported it, report that to the local authorities so they can close that road off at least until that water goes down. Okay, so that's, that's one thing to be very cautious of. Even after a severe storm, it hasn't done anything else kind of damage of winds or hail kind of damage, but it could have produced flash flooding. So you want to be very careful of that after the storm, and for, it could be for hours after the storm goes by.